Hiya, welcome to a special episode of Easy English. So recently, Easy English hit the 100,000 subscriber mark. So firstly, thank you if you've helped contribute towards that. And so to mark this, we thought that we'd show you myself, Easy behind the camera, and little Nola beside me, the city where we interview the most, Brighton. So as well as showing you some of our favorite places around Brighton, we also asked some of the people visiting and living in Brighton what they're here for and why they love Brighton so much. Before we start this week's episode, if you're not one of the 100,000 that subscribed already, then hit the subscribe button below and give us a little like. Here we go. So behind me, you see the new pair, which is like iconic for Brighton. Not really a recommendation because it's only really good if you're into arcades, making no money off it or disgusting sweets. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's obviously a thing for tourists. So what I like about Brighton, it's not those places, but more like the back alley things the nice pubs. So I think I've read somewhere that Brighton has the most pubs per capita. So you find a pub for for everyone, <laughs> really. There are so many good pubs and restaurants and back alleys with little nice cafes. I like that most, where you don't have so many people. Not a big fan of crowds, only if I'm on a gig or a festival. But um, yeah, that's I think the best and the people, really the people. It's um, the atmosphere here is really welcoming, really free and creative and vibrant and I love that like I think I don't know a place where I've ever felt that free and that says something. a couple of days ago. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we're fr uh, I'm from New Zealand. Okay. And uh, I'm, I'm from Australia. We're just here for like a week or so on holidays. So I actually moved here for uni in 2018. Okay. But then dropped out okay. and just carried on living here. <laughs> oh really? What are you doing in Brighton today? We are just having meeting beer, up, yeah, having a beer, beer on the beach. and yeah. enjoying the sun really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And do you live in Brighton or are you visiting? I live in Brighton. I used to live in Brighton, but I live in Lewis now. And how did you hear about Brighton from New Zealand and Australia? Uh, recommended by friends, so yeah. because you know the friends that we have there from the UK, so they kind of pointed us in this direction. And what did they say about Brighton to recommend it? Honestly, like, like, like a super open, like, like lots of like vegan and gluten free like food options and things like that. Like lots going on and like a young mindset. And what made you then uh, want to stay after you dropped out? Just uh, just the whole experience. I grew up in like towns. Okay. So moving to a city, completely different. And just fell in love, so beautiful. Everyone's nice. <laughs> Can I ask um, what town you used to live in? Uh, Medway in Kent. Oh yeah, okay. And how does it compare to Brighton? Oh, not comparable at all. <laughs> <laughs> not, not at all. Why is that? Just a small town, small-minded people. Okay. Nothing's. And in contrast, exciting. what's Brighton like? Just bright, colourful, happy people. Yeah. Just I've met so many great people here that I never would have met in Medway. And then what? What is so good then about Brighton? What do you like the most about it? Days like today. Yeah. yeah <laughs> Literally, yeah, days like yeah, today yeah. make Brighton worth living in. Yeah, yeah. Are they common? 
No. Uh, <laughs> no. But when they are, you've got yeah. to take the, take sure. advantage of it. I went through the laneways, like the lanes, is it called? Yeah, yeah. A little bit yesterday and it was super cool, like nice like shoe shopping <laughs> and whatnot. Yeah. We're staying like, I think on the western side, there's like heaps of like different food options there, which is super cool as well. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Like we had some Syrian food last night. That was delicious. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Same. something a bit different as well. It was, yeah, it was really good. What should people really do when they come to Brighton? A lot of people come to see the eye or see the pier, but most uh, Brightonians think that's a bit boring. No, it's a bit boring. What would you recommend? Yeah, you have to check out like the the secret spots, the lanes, some really nice restaurants in the lanes. Uh, there's pretty flower gardens up by Preston Park. Beautiful, really hidden away. Very nice. Uh, Wild Park again, yeah. very beautiful. A lot of things like that. A lot of wildlife here, I'd recommend. As you've got some tinnies and you're ready, and you're ready to go out, yeah. do you have any specific good pubs or good club recommendations for people? Well, we don't really go out. We're, we're, really we're middle-aged yeah. men. I'm yeah. 35. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm nearly 40. Yeah. yeah, but Hot Poles is a good pub. Hot Poles. Yeah. Hot Poles. Um, Easy Fiddler. tight Fiddler. Fiddler's, Fiddler's is one of my favourite. Really you want to yeah. watch football? Yeah. Go there. That's yeah. always good. I said the one down there, the lanes, yeah. like in Hove, there's like Bison and like yeah. nice pubs. You've like got that. like yeah. the, uh, what's the one in Poets Corner? The Exchange. Oh, I yeah, like that one. Lovely, that's yeah. a good one, yeah. 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 So you do go out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> as, as, to watch football and as middle aged yeah. men, having yeah. two pints and having to go out. <laughs> two pints and then, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing too strange. Yeah. Uh, would you ever consider living in Brighton after being here for two days? Honestly, I would. Like, the weather's just been phenomenal. Yeah, like, yeah. Super, super lovely. You're very um, lucky. <laughs> yeah, yeah, if it's always like this, then yeah. <laughs> would you ever consider moving away from Brighton? Hmm. Unless it's to another country, no. Okay. Just abroad. If you're trying to improve your English speaking and listening skills, then why don't you become a member of Easy English and join our new conversation membership? To join, go to easyenglish.video forward slash membership or click the link up here. Each week, you'll get to meet myself and Easy on Zoom in our virtual online pub. You'll get to meet other members as well and you'll be discussing food, life, politics, music, and of course, British life and culture. So bring your favourite drink along and get to improve your listening and speaking skills with Easy English in our new conversation membership. Now back to the episode. So as Easy mentioned before, pubs are one of the biggest and best parts of Brighton. So why not show you inside one of our favourite pubs, The Walrus, for a cheeky afternoon pint. Let's go. Me pretending to go in, me pretending to go in, me pretending to go in. <laughs> So, cheers first. Cheers. One of the best things about Brighton, not only that do they have really good pubs and lots of pubs, but in mostly all pubs, you're allowed to bring little tiny dogs. 
such as Nola, who's enjoying her time in the pub. No beer. No beer. <laughs> cheers, cheers, cheers. I need a bigger one. So we just went to Happy Maki. Well, we do love sushi, but we are vegetarians. So um, this place is actually perfect for us. They have vegan, only vegan sushi with a lot of cool things. And this is great about Brighton as well, because vegan and vegetarian options here are huge. It's probably more than eating meat or fish. And um, yeah, we will eat this now. We love it. It's a hoisin duck, not real duck, vegan hoisin duck sushi burrito. Sounds complicated? It's good though. Do you live in Brighton? No, I don't live in Brighton, no. Okay, so uh, are you visiting Brighton? Yeah, we're visiting, yeah. And why did you choose to visit Brighton today? Um, mainly because it's like, easy to travel to, and it's like everything here, you know, it's like beach, it's warm, you know, it's like community, like, you go around and people are just nice. Where, where have you come from today? Uh, uh, Hertfordshire. It's just like a very welcoming place, and you know, there's a, like a lot of people, you can always like stop and have a chat. There's like all sorts of people here you'll meet. What are you doing in Brighton? Uh, just visiting uh, because we are really into vintage uh, shopping, uh, uh, antique shopping. Uh, so Brighton is definitely one of the best places in all Britain uh, to find uh, really vintage uh, stuff. Okay, and what's on your itinerary for today? Um, we're sort of just going around, like we're staying in an Airbnb, going shopping and stuff, like seeing all the unusual shops and you know going um, just like onto the beach. Okay, where, what would you recommend for someone to come if they were also visit in Brighton? Um, definitely the shops. The shops? Yeah. Anywhere, anywhere in particular? Um, no, we've sort of just come here, but like the shops, if you just walk around, you'll find like the most amazing shops, like you would never expect. We have a collection of uh, vintage uh, clothes, uh, so this is a very valuable place to get uh, cool stuff uh, and uh, unique stuff. And also sausage rolls. Oh, yeah. yeah I'm mad stuff. for sausage He's rolls. I'm mad for them, yeah. Okay, and uh, what do you have planned for tonight? Tonight we are just uh, sort of just going out. We're going on the beach and then probably just have a meal. Um, just exploring, really, just like seeing people and just seeing the things. It's like an amazing place. What would you recommend to people who are maybe also coming to visit There's one day? For foreigners, uh, I would recommend... Uh, Anything specific or...? Chai latte. <laughs> chai I would latte. Just food, I'd recommend just food and drinks. Uh, sausage rolls at the open market. Yeah. And uh, also uh, Asia, Asian cuisine here is, uh, I think, uh, more, um, I don't know, more traditional, more, uh, more authentic. Yes, okay. indeed. Um, it's also nice a walk, a walk on the seafront. The Brighton Pier is lovely, uh, even for adults. It's just not for children, so you can. And, uh, uh, yeah, you can get uh, good uh, seashells. Ah, the seashells uh, at the kiosk, uh, oysters. Uh, uh, yeah, well, yeah, whelks. whelks uh, <laughs> yeah. We don't have whelks in Italy, so I, I usually get whelks uh, when uh, when we go to the pier. Would you ever consider living or studying here? Um, studying, I, I would consider studying because like everything's here. It's really easy. It's a nice place. It's not like horrible. People are always welcoming. Thanks for watching this week's episode. Let us know in the comments below if you've ever been to Brighton and what you thought about it or if you're planning to go in the future. And as always, we'll see you next time. Ta-ra!